handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Gulfstream Park here on Wednesday. It is the 10th of January 2024. Gonna look at the eighth race from Gulfstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the eighth race from Goldstream, which is allowance optional claim or purse ninety one thousand dollars. Races for Phillies three year olds who never won a race, the main claiming starter, restricted race, which never won two races, optional claim price seventy five thousand. And sorry if <laughs> if my volume is low, I'm sorry about that. Um, I have a you know, a sinus infection, so it's making it a little bit difficult to uh, to uh, speak today. But we have a field of 12 horses going to the turf course. The distance of ground of 1,000 meters or five furlongs of the Goldstream Park turf course. Rails are out 59 feet, so it's the outer portion of the turf course. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the 11 horse, Golden Canary. I'm going to go 11, 8, 10, 4 in the Superfecta. 11, 8, 10, 4, super. Top selection, 11 horse, Golden Canary. 3 year old filly by Medalla de Oro. Mark Cassie trains. I ride a Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came the 8th of October at Woodbine. Five furlongs in the Algonquin Stakes. And the horse finished second by a half a length that day. He had a very wide trip, but he sat back early, which is a, a change of... Th- you know, running style for him, but he had the turn of foot late. He just missed. He dead placed, dead heated with the uh, the other place horse. Not a bad race first time Lasix. He's getting Lasix back on today. He, he has some forwardly pace, which I think it should be to his advantage here today to overcome a wide trip. I think he can get into it and run a good race here today. They tried him two back routing in the grade one Atelma at Woodmont on the EP Taylor. 16th of September wasn't a success. He finished fifth by 10 quarter lengths from an outside post where he left to get a good position and then just crumbled late he wasn't keeping up that was a very tough race i'll give him a break cutting back and trip but he was pretty perfect before that uh you know sprinting six and a half on the ep taylor in late august and the soaring free um you know he actually broke the main that day went in my neck on the front end from another wide post draw he really took off clear and then on debut on the 22nd of july went by in six and a half in a main special weight he finished second by two lengths he in mind quite a few of those horses were next star winners this horse just kind of stalked that day but he had a decent turn of foot he's training quite well at palm meadows I think he has a, a good chance to win here. I'll use him on the ticket. I think the eight-horse dot first time uh, turf has a strong chance also. Esmiel Jaramillo is on him. Can't say his name, pardon me. Never had. Uh, but uh, Jaramillo is on him for a one Alvarado. He's first time turf. They tried him on the Tapita. Uh, well, they tried trying him on turf uh, last time out, but it was rained off running the Tapita. Five furlongs locally, 15th of December and off 75, where he finished third by five lengths that day. He was a little bit wide. He didn't have the guess, best beginnings, but he, he got down the race course well off the three-month refreshing second off could be forwardly paced training well looks like he has a lot of speed into him last time i had a workout 48 and one the fourth best workout 15 i'm gonna give him a shot to really run a good race here today and uh, also watch out for the um the 10 horse here field last for Luis Saez and George Arnold was a winner three back at Churchill going five on the dirt quite nicely with some speed there the race before that Kentucky Downs I don't think he liked the wide post on the quirkiness of Kentucky Downs I think coming back to turf again training well Palm Meadows uh, on the turf and dirt I think he has a live chance in this uh, in this feature so we'll use him there this very nice late pick for today great Wednesday card from Goldstream by the way uh, but to recap my selection for the eighth now from Goldstream I'm going to take the 11 horse Golden Canary we'll give kudos to the the eight horse here dot and the 10 horse field last uh where are we 11 8 10 4 super 11 8 10 at our multi-race so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid 5 good luck everybody